Hello, today I am going to show you my code for the uh, line clipping using Kuhem Sutherland algorithm. So let's start. First of all, these are some necessary header files which are required to run the program. Now, I have defined a structure in which I have initialized uh, x and y and a character code and also a variable point so these are the functions uh, which I am calling um, outside the main function and uh, the description of these functions I have written below and I will show you in the video later so this is the draw window function to draw the window uh, in which we want a line because it's a line in, uh, clipping algorithm so we want a line in which part of the in which part of the screen that that part is this is a window and we want the line inside the window so this is a window this is a draw line uh, the user will input the coordinates and the line will be drawn normally and this is a set code uh, in this code I have used uh, in this algorithm a set code, a set code is, is used uh, so that the line clipping is done uh, accurately and how it is done I will show you later uh, visibility is a function uh, which checks that uh, the line which the user uh, have uh, entered uh, lies uh, how it lies in the uh, box or we can say the reason in which we want the line so if the line is uh, uh, not in the region it is uh, outside the region so the line will not be seen so the visibility will be not seen uh, and completely not seen and if the half part is there so half will be seen so that is uh, that is a code this uh, function contains the code uh, to determine the visibility uh, which is before the clipping of the line means where is the line uh, ar around the box or inside the box whatever it is but before the clipping of the line so this is the visibility reset endpoint this function uh, is used after the line is visible and uh, after that we want that line inside the uh, window or region uh, which we have uh, defined so it will reset the point means uh, the, uh, the, the the half if, if the half of the line is outside the window so that half part will be uh, will not be seen and the uh, the part which is uh, inside the uh, our window will be seen so it the, the therefore the reset endpoint function is used i'll explain you later this is the main driver function uh, this I will come to this uh, driver function later first i'll show you the main functions so first of all this is the draw window function it is a window or the region in which uh, we want a line uh, to be uh, to be there means we want we don't we don't want a line to be outside this region or a part of the line to be outside our whole line should be inside this region only so this is the main region and uh, i have uh, drawn this window i have uh, taken this uh, these points randomly means it is uh, on my choice that what size of the window should i take so this is the size of my window uh, fold uh, it's a square window with the four lines so you can see the it's a function of line now the void draw line this function draws the line uh, with the values input by the user so the line which the user wants to be in, uh, to input it will run with this function now this is the set code function in this function uh, we will set different codes uh, like yes we will set four codes as uh, as i have written uh, a four bit code and uh, that code uh, defines that code will be will help us to know that where our line is and what we have to do uh, where we have to clip that line uh, from that code only so uh, consider a tic-tac-toe table uh, so the tic-tac-toe table we know that the middle portion is there and upper lower right and left portion are also there so uh, consider that our window main window in which we want to our line is the middle portion and we mark it as zero zero so the four bit will will be zero 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 and the upper part will be uh, we can uh, give it the 0001 and lower also 
uh, some other bit uh, code and right and left so all are all are having different uh, codes so this is to uh, initiate like if the region is less than 100 means the pixel is less than 100 the coordinate sorry so the code should be set to 1 as the code set will be set to 0 if it is greater than 50 then the code will be set to 1 or it will set to 0 same as uh, if the coordinate is uh, greater than 450 then the code will be set to 1 or else it will set to 0 and this is for the right and if the, uh, the coordinate is less than 150 then the code will be set to 1 and otherwise it will be set to 0 so this is also for left now we are returning the temporary this is the function of visibility in which uh, the two points are passed and the uh, these two points are that are uh, the end points of the line so with the help of the end points of the line we will determine the where the line is ending and starting so i have initialized the integer i flag 0 and uh, for this for loop as you can see uh, i have uh, tried a if condition that if the uh, value of the code is not equal to 0 uh, for the first point means of uh, starting of the line we can say and as well as uh, if that uh, not n or if that end point of the line uh, is also not equal to 0 then we have to set the flag to 1 this will help us determining that at which code uh, is uh, is that uh, end points is the end points of the of our line and now if flag 0 if flag is equal to 0 uh, then we have to return 0 and in this for loop and uh, if uh, the code uh, value is equal to the means uh, the code value of p2 is equal to the code value of p1 that means the point 1 the code value is equal to point 2 code value means the end points are starting point and also the point 1 code value uh, means the uh, starting point code value is equal to 1 then I have to set the flag to 0 and if the flag is equal to 0 then I have to return the 1 this will all help in uh, it this will all help in that uh, in our main program in which we have to use a switch case to check uh, where the uh, endpoints of the line uh, or where the line is starting or ending so now if any of this condition is not true then return 2 now this is the function to reset the line to reset the line first I will initialize x and y and uh, float uh, m and k so if the code 3 means the region uh, of code 3 uh, the end the point of the line is, uh, is in the code region 3 and is equal to 1 so the x value will be 150 this we are doing uh, so that uh, uh, the line will be uh, if the line is outside the uh, then uh, is the line is outside the window so uh, if the uh, one point is outside the window so it will be uh, it will the line the line will be vanished uh, the part which is not inside uh, outside the window and the uh, coordinate where uh, the line is intersecting the window inside uh, in intersecting the window from that point to the inside of the uh, inside of the window the line will be there and if uh, if the uh, code is two means the other side of the left side as uh, one second I will show you. As you can see the code 2 is for right so at the, it is for the right side the above uh, line which we have earlier seen it was for the bottom side because it was 1 so yeah so for the right side if the value is 1 means the, uh, the part of the line or the end point of the line is outside the window which we want so the intersection of the point 
of that uh, of that line of the window not the line the window line uh, will be uh, will be uh, there and that and that became the at, uh, that became the end point of our line so the end point of the line is set to 450 which is the window x axis not x axis which is the window line and which has the temp, uh, permanent x axis so that point is interchanged so in that way we have clipped that part of the line and in this part as you can see if the uh, region 3 first i will show you which is region 3 yeah we have said region 3 as left so in region 3 second in region 3 uh, if uh, the code value is 1 for point for a for a single point of the line for the end point of line we are talking about so if the in code 3 it is uh, the values the code value is 1 and at the, at the uh, and at the right side 2 is right at the right side the code value is also uh, 1 so uh, we have to use a formula uh, we have to use a formula of uh, like Intersect, intersection of the line we have to find out uh, with the two uh, uh, when as uh, consider this as like a line is there uh, uh, which is uh, intersecting a window outside and inside so uh, the line uh, the intersection of the line should be our main focus because we want the line from there only uh, intersection with the with the window and the line outside that we don't want so we are using the formula to find that uh, uh, that point that intersection point with the window and the line and now we are making that point as the initial point of the line so through this the line will be clipped we are setting the end point of the line basically so the line will be clipped and for this uh, as you can see temp dot y if it is less than 350 and also temp dot y is greater than 100 then we have to return, return temp and here at the other side uh, 0 and 1 let's see which is 0 and 1 yeah 0 and 1 top and bottom so in the top and bottom uh, if the line is from top to bottom and both the endpoints are outside the window size uh, so therefore we want to we have to apply uh, the, uh, the the formula for the intersection at both the ends to calculate uh, the endpoints which are on the window size the endpoints of the line which are on the window size so yeah here it is we have used the formula here when code of 0 is equal to 1 and p1 but code of 1 equal to 1 so any of the uh, sorry it is not end it is or so any of the condition is there so it will apply the uh, formula to calculate that the intersection point and now we are returning the temp value or we are returning p1 now let's come to our main program and see how it will work first um, I have just initial, initialized the points and I have initialized the V value. Uh, the V value will be used uh, in that in the switch case uh, through which we will determine that uh, where the line is means what part of the line we want. Here uh, I have used my functions which I have created draw line and delay delay function is used to show the line at the at the screen but at uh, what time it will require to show the line after how how much time so it will be the delay part and uh, how much time that uh, each uh, output will be shown uh, interval of the time is the delay so i'll show you the init graph uh, graph function is required to show the output in the turbo c the window side window uh, will be displayed then the delay will be there and after that the line which will be drawn by the user will be there and after that delay and after that uh, after that the line will be clipped and how it will be clipped let's see first of all i've used my visibility uh, v equal to visibility uh, p1 dot uh, comma p2 so 
I've set P, uh, V as a visibility of P1 and P2. Then delay will be there. And now the switch case. So in the case zero, uh, which I've taken in that uh, in the visibility part zero. Let's see where. Yeah, it's a flag. So flag is equal to zero. So as I have used flag zero and one and two. So if the uh, V value is zero, then uh, the uh, the delay will be there. Uh, first the window will be drawn then the delay will be there then the line will be drawn after clipping uh, not after clipping the line will be drawn and it shows that the line which user entered uh, already is uh, in that in the in our window which we want and the part of the line uh, there is no part of the line which is outside the window so in that case uh, simply as it is the line will be drawn inside the window only and the program will be stopped in case one uh, is a case where the window will be drawn yeah uh, delay will be there but uh, the line which is which is entered by the user is not in the window means any part of the line is not in the window the line is somewhere else far away from the window or not inside the window so uh, the line will be completely uh, uh, will not be completely shown and the visibility as we can see yeah as you as i have told you that flag i will be raised uh, one if uh, none of the uh, point is zero means the line is not inside the uh, inside the our window so it will be set to one so yeah the line will not be shown in the output and in the case two uh, if uh, if the part of the line is outside the window and part some part is inside the window then the case two will be there in which first the points will be resetted means the end point of the line which be uh, will be the intersection point of the line in the window and after that uh, uh, yeah both the points means uh, there will be possibility that one point uh, is inside the window but other is outside or both the end points are outside the window okay in the in the case two and the case two is that some part of, of the line should be in the window yeah so there it is and then the window will be drawn and del after delay the line will be drawn after the clipping of the line and the program will be paused and the delay and at the close graph so there's this is the all about that our line clipping and now i will show you uh, that uh, how it is running i will take the uh, i will take the uh, case where the i i will take the case three uh, where two sorry where the line some part is inside the box and some part is uh, part is outside the box we can try for all other parts also but i'll show you the first one these are the two points which i am entering uh, sorry one point x y and x1 uh, y1 uh, which is the we can say starting of the line and this is the second point which is we can say ending of the line so first the window will appear yeah the line of the user will appear then the line after the clipping will appear so that's all Thank you for watching.